Let's look at another lines report, this time using a couple of extra fields. We'll create a new query and choose lines. We'll choose date, length, year, and month. And we'll also choose borrower year. What we can see here is our headings are the year that the, the items were lent, and that's broken down under each year by which month was lent in that particular year. Only the months that are uh, used in those particular years are shown on the screen. To make sure we just get our students, we only want borrowers which, ha which have a scholastic year. So this will probably include some staff because there's some without a borrower year. We're going to use our restricting option by clicking on the borrower year, grabbing everything just by clicking the arrows to the right, and just take away that hyphen at the top which represents a blank value. Just highlight that value at the top and click the single arrow to the left. Then click OK. And the report's been broken out a little further. Remember, if you just want a particular year, we could always just say we just want 2014. Click on date, length, year at the top of the screen. Just choose 2014 from our list. And move it to the right. And click OK. To undo that, we'll just go back to date, length, year. Make sure everything's on the left hand side and click OK. Remember when you finish with the report, good practice is to save it for later. Click the save button at the top of the screen. I'll call this loans by scholastic year and year, month, and click save. When you finish the query, you can simply close it then. It will be available for choosing from our list on the left hand side of the year. There's their loans by scholastic year and year month. Double click on it and there's their report ready to go.